Okay, anyway, whatever. Um, strange. So I'm building my cabin. As you can see in the background, it's 12 by 20-ish. Uh, the pad was supposed to be 16 by 20, so I'd have a four-foot porch. When they poured it, I think they measured it to the outside of the wood instead of the concrete itself. So I'm a little short, whatever, make it work. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm making this out of, well, first I gotta had to, we had to dig into the mountain and I built, we built a retaining wall, obviously, and then poured our slab. And it's really thick over here, but anyway. So I've got six by six cedar posts that I'm gonna build this out of, stack it up Lincoln log style. Well, so I got my first wall over here. I've got uh, this material that uh, is like a substrate seal or whatever. Anyway, I wrapped the bottom like a U-shape around the bottom of the board. I also put this foam seam seal down on the ground to keep moisture coming up. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but <clears throat> what else I've done is uh, I've notched these on the ends, so I'm gonna half lap it on the corners. And then a foot in, I've got a hole drilled there, all four corners, and I'm sure I'll do more, but I'm using these inch and a half, I mean a half inch by 10 inch, uh, six inch, sorry, tap cons, bolting that down. And then, so on my measurements, sorry, it's all shaky. I'm just all over the map here by myself. I, uh, I put a nail in the same spot on each board, measured across lengthwise to get them the same, you know, from here to here, here to here. Then I measured the diagonals here to here and here to here. This one's got one bolt in it. I'm ready to drill the second bolt down here and get it locked into place, but I wanted a little bit of movement. I could, whatever. Anyway, long story short, I got it about dead square. So I'm gonna get these Get these two holes drilled over here so I know exactly where to put that board and then I'll have to wrap it, put the seam seal down, drill this hole, lock it in place, and then start on my front and back boards. Once I get all those in place and screwed down, then I can start bringing my logs down and stacking them. And I have a 10 inch uh, log bolts to, to secure these in place. All right, got it all done, bolted down, sealed up, every last bit. All right, sorry about the noise, generator's running to charge my batteries, but let me show you what I'm doing so far. I got a lot done. It's been raining on and off. I got water all in here. But pretty much the premise I'm doing is I'm setting a layer of liquid nails and then button pass method. The corners down here I cut out like half lap on both sides, but I wasn't going to do that all the way up. And then I'm taking and sinking it in with these 10 inch oolog screws. And I'll tell you what, it's solid. Solid as a rock. I do have a hole over here, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know if I want to fill that or put a piece of glass in it or something. But.
Now these are every two feet. They make a log. They make a log that's every three. Uh, a screw that's every three feet, but not these. I think those are called like hog logs or something. And that just really, it countersinks and it really sinks it down. And you can see how far these are going into the next wood. And then I just keep stacking it up all the way around.